Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au. In today's video, we're going to be taking a bit of a look at Google Classroom. One of the features that Google put out into Google Classroom recently is a topic tag feature. So what this allows you to do when you post a question, an announcement, or an assignment is you can assign a topic tag to it, and you can see one just here. What happens then is as you build the list of topic tags, down the left hand side you can see the different tags that you've utilized over time. And you can, for example, click on one of those tags and it will show you each of the posts in the stream that have that tag attached to it. For example, if I wanted to look at all of my congruent triangle tags, I could click on the congruent triangles and it will give me each of the posts that have that particular tag attached to it click on energy it will give me each of those this is a really useful way of grouping all of the posts or in the stream related to a particular topic a unit of study and can be useful for both the teacher and for the student the other side of that is if I'm looking in the stream and I'm looking at a particular post I'm like oh where's the other content related to that particular topic I can click on the tag in that topic and it will give me the same thing all of the posts in the stream with that particular topic tag now there is one drawback to this, there's not a the facility to have multiple tags in a uh, post. So how does this work? How do we actually add in these topic tags? Let's go through the process. Bottom right hand corner, click on the plus, select whether you want to create an announcement, an assignment or a question, I'm going to put an announcement in. And this announcement for me will just be about the swimming carnival. How you group this will depend on you. In the way that you assign a topic is simply by clicking on the down arrow next to topic. You can choose a topic that you've already got listed or you can go create a topic. Now the type of topic, the name of the topic is entirely up to you and how specific you want to be will depend on how you want to organize things. So you might just want to have a topic just called carnivals or you might just want to have a topic called sport or perhaps permission notes. It's entirely up to you but you can only have one topic assigned to this particular post. I'm going to call this one permission notes and that's now there in the stream ready for my students to see. So that's how we add our topic tags in Google Classroom and I hope you found this useful. Don't forget for more helpful videos like this please head to c21teaching.com.au and click on the FTPL videos tag up the top. Thanks very much for watching.